Welcome back. Here we go. Starting off, Sasky Shotgunners against the Boston Burgers. A little hard point. Looking from Gun Safety's point of view right now as he's taking an early dip, working his way around his way as he draws the first blood. Good. And as we already have one on the point right now. Gun Sage doing a little, trying to do a little cleaning up on the hill. A little contest. Boom. Take it out. But Gun Sage himself gets taken out. Now we got the party next door. Holding down the point for the shotgunners. As Mojo is also taking a dip to work his way around to the back side. Skystone. Eh, he gets taken out himself. Gun Sage working his way back around. Trying to contest the point. Now Vermont from that nice little sneaky spot. Tossing a trophy coming through. Onto the hill right now. Holding it down. We're looking at a tie game early off between Boston and Sasky as this P1 has switched over to P2Q and man, a 22-16 lead for the Boston Burgers. Yeah, and Party Early was working on that kind of a flip, but he ended up just pushing front because they got some of the kills. So him and Mojo right now are just trying to flip this out for their team. And I think they have done so now, finally, after getting a couple of the kills to break open the hill. And this should give Sasky Shotgunners a good chance at a good lead after this P2. But Party pushing out a little bit, creating some space, making sure he can get this mid-alley. He's going to get taken down, though. That's a big kill as they're trying to converge on the point. Doing a great job of slaying from inside the hill is our boy Rory Gilmore. He is absolutely frying in there, holding down. Making sure this doesn't go too far out the other way. They are now need to make sure they get in the hill while they're here. As they don't quite realize Sasky's given this one up. But after this time goes away, we are going to see, sorry, Sasky taking quite a big lead as they did do a bit of the dominant slaying for that P1 coffee. P2. We're looking at 55-23 in favor of the shotgunners as we go over to this P3. Gun Sage working his way around right now as Skystone is holding down the holding the point as we speak. Gun Sage gets taken down just outside that P1. Now, Vermont working his way around, making that tag 56 talk a little bit. As he comes in, goes the upside, the up top route. Can he pick anybody off? He does it because you got Skystone and Gun Sage holding down the point. 55 50 in favor of the shotgunners right now. Rory Gilmore working his way in, trying for a contest. Gets taken down. The point's open right now. It was a real brief. In and out for Skystone. Now Gun Sage working his way around. Pops up to that top route as Rory is holding down to the point. Defends from the top. Vermont on the hill along with Rory. Nice little stack on there. Bringing it up 65-53 as we get ready to rotate to this P4. Man, this is getting exciting. Yeah, Rory's just been really putting in work inside the hill. Slaying from within. Doing what he can as he will go down here. Those guys maybe found his way in. Oh, ripped a guy off the rock. An absolutely huge kill. This could flip the spawns, but we do see that one arrow. Is Mojo back far enough? I'm not sure, but I think they are spawning kind of split spawns, if you will, that they are now out. But we that kill coming in now, Mojo's got to stay alive, and he can get spawns for his teammates right now if they die. They are looking to hold this hill. There's only 33 seconds left to claim, but of course the Sassy Shotgunners want it, and it seems like they will have it. Their boy Rory, Rory Gilmore back in the hill where he belongs. Frying aspect up the hill was his boy party next door as Sasky Shotgunners are just doing some good fundamentals here, Coffee. This is bronze pre-made action where you're actually learning the fundamentals, getting your feet wet, so to speak, as Vermont working his way around in between points one and two. Gun Sage getting that nice little uh, prone right there as we getting ready to go into this P5. Skystone is already on scene, assuming command. But Gun Sage is keeping it covered from the other side. He gets taken out. Party next door. Working his way around from P4. Getting ready to hit that building of P5. Is he going to be able to clear Skystone off? Yes, he is. As he takes up camp and gets taken down. 99-77 in favor of the Sasky Shotgunners. Mojo popping dead. He working his way around. Takes out one. On the hill. Keeping, keeping an eyeball out. And he's got Rory Gilmore. Helping them out on the hill. 108.77 in favor of the shotgunners right now. Mojo going upstairs, leaving Rory downstairs. To, to, ooh, clean out that contest quick, fast, and in a hurry. With 15 seconds left on this hill. 120.77 in favor of Sasky. Mojo just mowing down from upstairs. Now he hops down, cleans out one on a five spree right now. And, man, 
Here we go. Let's go ahead and start this new set of rotations, Q. Yeah, after the first set of rotations, our man Rory Gilmore is up to a minute and 52 seconds in the hill, which is obviously quite impressive, regardless of scenario, as that is just a whole heck of a lot of time in a halfway done game at best. Boston securing uh, the new P1 right now, has uh, has Sasuke spawning at that Hydro side, which is exactly where they want him, just got to kind of keep on their toes. Vermont trying to take the water route around, unable to kind of get there, as he's going to be found out. Wazi taking down one, and Sidestone will get the other one up top, and that is going to send them right back into the Hydro. Mojo's got to find a couple here. There's one. There's two. Going to hop back into the water. I like this play, but he can't shoot his gun from under there. He's going to get some help from the backside. That'll be three down. That's a great break started by Mojo on the last man up. Going to give Sasuke Shotgunner some more time now here, and we are going to see Gunsage going back for this next spawn copy, which will be an integral life to their success. will be one. 47 110 in favor of the shotgunners as gun sage working his way around for the boston burgers trying to do some cleaning out getting ready for the p2 mojo already there says no you're not coming in now mojo working his way around Bloody heading towards mojo. that trying to head towards that p2 can he go and clear Rory, well he doesn't need to clear rory gilmore out there but he's going to back him up holding the back door of the hill right now Good gets job. taken down himself as gun sage Working his way around. Is he going to break the hill? Not sure. Rory comes Rory. in. Cleans everybody out. But he gets taken down. Aspect is running the hill right now. 165, 115 in favor of Sasuke. 20 seconds left on this uh, P2. As party next door comes in. Does a little house cleaning. Breaks the hill. Gets some more time for Sasuke. Like it really matters. Closes the door. I think I see what the point is there. Gonna just catch him off guard. Skystone trying to work his way around for that P3, that pre rotation. It doesn't work. Oh. But here we go with P3. Yeah, a big 60 point lead after Sasuke was able to break or kind of just halt the uh, spawns of Boston on that back P2, but able to get it a great amount of time in the end while rotating pretty early for this neck. And who else is in the hill but Rory? He will get taken down. A good couple kills from Gunsage. Can he find a third here? He's got to go hunting for him. They've got to collect a major amount of time between this and the next hill if they're going to stay in it. As you know, Rory's getting that scrap time to get them across the line once they hit 200. But Gunsage put a, together a really good life here. That's three kills in a row. He's going to sense this guy in the back. He will. That's another great kill. Unable to find Mojo as that would have been almost impossible. But the kill's coming through. Mojo is going to trade another. They will probably be able to bring themselves to 200 now, yes. But Boston are going to have to concede this and just attempt to get a full 60 on this back rock hill coffee. I'm not sure. Their holds have not been strong enough against this Sasky Shotgunner team with Rory just full-fledged run into the hill. So Vermont with the break early coffee. 241 in favor of the Shotgunners. Oh. Vermont with one, with two. Holy cow. Just do a little oh, house in there. No, oh, man! Trying to jump down. Gets taken out. Skystone is now holding down. There's a contest on the point. Takes out. Party next door. Mojo working around from the okay. side. 204, 153 in favor of Sasuke. Mojo takes a takes a uh, water nap as Wazzy on the hill right now. Making sure nobody's coming in that doesn't belong. He is just... He, he had the 10 peg set up and everything before he gets taken down by party next door. Wow, now Aspect that. on the hill for Boston, trying to get caught up. 204, 169 in favor of the Sasky Shotgunners. Boston is at least going to have a fighting chance here as they're getting closer to that 200. And we're going to go ahead and go to this P5. Yeah, all things considered, a pretty good hill for Boston. They do need to find a break now into a tougher hill to break, I guess, but not impossible. Vermont's in the back. Skystone's going to try and forget about him, which doesn't really go away in his favor there. Party next door able to clean that one up as they are counting their way to 250. Boston trying to take the long route around P1 right now, but unfortunately they are getting halted at the door. A slow push. They need to be quick right now. 223. Things are mounting. Gunsage has got to find a couple here. He's going to turn, find one, but that won't be enough, unfortunately. Rory is a back in the hill. He's going to look for the first man jumping in water. He will get fried by Aspect. That was a must kill for Aspect, and he finds it. 20 seconds left in this hill. Aspect's hunting, finding more, picking up the sub. Party next door is going to pick up one. Aspect needs to find him, too. 
Rory's gonna go down again, but there's Mojo in from the backside. 10 seconds left on this hill, that nobody able to end the game here. But as we go to P1, we are gonna see Rory is there right away. Who else but Rory? As Boston needs to come in from Hydro and find a break and really chain this into P2 as well, Coffee. The D2, here we go. Nobody on the hill right now. 238, 190. Oh, now Boston is on the oh, hill with yeah. Gunstay Jawadzi. Verma, uh, Vermont is in the back trying to do some house cleaning. Is he going to be able to do it? 238, oh. favor the shotgunners. Oh, man, Vermont gets Clean taken down. But Gun Sage is still on the hill right now. There's still a whole lot of hard point to be playing right now as you're watching Sky Scrolls going up against Party Next Door. Not. He's watching that dome very closely. Wazzy still on the hill, but Sky Scrolls gets taken down himself. Vermont. Working his way around the hill, trying to do some house plating. Does some house plating. There we go with ten, with nine, with eight now. Four Sasky with seven, with six, That's with five. Go. Man, Vermont. Rory gets taken oh, off the hill. That was a two piece off the hill. Skystone on it right now. Two twenty seven for the Boston Burgers. Two forty six for the Sasky Shotgunners. Boston has a chance if they get onto this next hill. They simply got to go, though. They're running out of time. Gun Sage, you got to get out of that water quick. And they won't be oh. able to make it there as the Sasuke Shotgunners only needed the four points. And they find it a thrilling hard point to kick off this series as Boston made that tough down the stretch. Coffee, they just wouldn't go away. No, they wouldn't. That was, I mean, for a, for a few minutes there, I thought it was, uh, now as we are in Albagra Fortress, four search and destroy, destroy as we're watching from Skystone's point of view. Send some rounds through, and Nade was tossed in, had no effect on him, but Skystone getting ready to make his way through that open. Sasky already planted the bomb at A. It was a quick plant. Mojo watching the corner, seeing if anybody comes through. Boom, there he goes. Mojo drawing the first blood onto Skystone. As we're down to 31 seconds left in this round, a 4v3 right now as Mojo gets a little hello there and then gets taken down himself. So, Three on three is Wazzy working his way around. Looks like he's coming from the P1 area. He shoot. He uh, oh man, Rory Gilmore's all that's left. Don't doubt Rory. Don't doubt Rory. No, Gun Sage is on the defuse right now. Is he going to be able to get it off in time? No. Rory's taken down. The defuse is done. Boston has it. One nothing. Yeah, it was just kind of a fundamental run out of Boston there. Let their ARs hold down sights and aim and get the kills, and they did so after the uh, a bomb was planted on, but not finished. So, a uh, pretty good round right off the bat. Uh, seeing Boston get back into this game, coffee. I think she got ticked off enough after that hard point. Now let's see how Sasky answers on their defensive round, as we're watching from Rory's point of view. Here we go, Skystone is the bomb carrier right now. Hello there, tossed up onto that A side, nothing connects, toss the real nade, nothing connects. But, party next door draws the first blood from being in the corner. Now he's right up there on that A bomb site, there he goes, he gets a two piece right there, take it out aspect. Toss it a hello there, see if it connects with anybody. The bomb is down at that A bomb site, so... Boston's got to really work their way around to get a plan or just do a 2v4 team deathmatch here. And, oh, there we go. There's a three-piece. Oh. oh, man. Party Next Door got him a three-piece before getting taken down. Now, Wazzy, all that's left for the Boston Burgers, Pops Daddy. What's he going to do? He's got to go up against Vermont, Rory, and Mojo. Well, he's got to go up against I Rory and Mojo now because he just took out for the whole state of Vermont. Wazzy. Working his way through the map room, looking at P5. Now he's got to be all sneaky like there in that closed area. Rory. Oh, Rory sleeping. And why is he on a five spree right now? Mojo is all that's left. Fortisansky oh, shotgun is a 1v1. Wazzy's the bomb carrier. It's 15, 14 seconds left in this second round. Is there enough time to get the plant? He's going to try it. Nine seconds oh. left. Not going to happen. Is he gonna be? Oh, he's gonna try it anyway. He's got five with four with three. Anybody coming? Oh. Was he? No, unfortunately, pulling off, not trusting nobody was around. But little did he know, Rory was all or Mojo side was all the way on the other side of the map I when he first got him from the back. And then he eventually came all the way around and found him as he hopped off. But 
Honestly, it would have worked out if he just would have happened to gotten lucky that Mojo would have pushed out the right way that he was peaking, but uh, not the case. So we will see Sasky clutch that one up after giving away three kills to Wazi. Wazi was able to bring that really close, but it was a 3v1 early on, Coffee. So have to see a lot of, a lot of respect being shown to the B plant already, though. I'd say drawing the first blood right there onto Mojo. Rory is the bomb carrier. His party next door is giving some good coverage on that uh, upper map area. He knows somebody's there. He can smell it. I'm done, Sage. Working his way up. Being all sneaky. Does he see him? Yeah. Oh, no. The party next door saw him first. Took him down. So here it is. Two on three right now. His party is... Keeping that upstairs covered, popping to Daddy, keeping a close eye out. Rory is, still has the bomb. He can go either way. We have 47 seconds left in this round. Now, Wazzy trying to. Oh, Z. nice kill on party next door. That leaves Rory Gilmore all that's left for this round. Who is he? Who's going to bring? Who's going to come up? It's one on three. And Rory gets taken down. Boston is now ahead 2-1. to one. Yeah, you can kind of see why Wazi hopped off the bomb and preferred to at least try to get a gunfight last round because this man is shooting on a level right now. His snaps have been something else. We got eight kills three rounds into this. Wazi is absolutely smashing his overs right now. This is nuts. I can't believe the level of slaying Boston's pulling out in the search and destroy already. So 2-1 to one early, but I'll have to see what goes on as we do head into the fourth round now need to see some more from Sasky. i know there is more to come we're going to have to now watch as the bomb is looking to go to this a side Sasky with a pretty conservative approach not wanting to get naded early gun sage with the sniper back in some of this uh uh chicken fencing back here wazi will find party though as that is his ninth kill of the match and he is just going hunting wanting more he's just gonna sit now is he gonna peek this we're waiting on wazi waiting Waiting. I think he's just going to hang out. Don't know if he wants to peek this snipe coming through. Gun Sage going to miss two shots. Or at least a hit marker at most. Not quite sure. But either way, they know the sniper is out. This is the B plant now. Vermont here to kind of stop it. Gun Sage is going to find oh, a snipe. There's a hit maybe, marker. Maybe give him a bit more. But two snipes coming in from Gun Sage on the cross there. Absolutely huge kills. And Boss is going to end that round quickly once Sasky tries to make it back to the B site, Coffee. He didn't get a chance to get the bomb completely planted. Wazzy. Gun Sage is just out of the way with the bomb, and, or our Skystorm is just out of the way with the bomb, excuse me, and everybody else is just bringing the gunny to do the work. Let's yeah, see. Bomb. Let's see how uh, Sasky responds on this offensive round. As we're watching, Gun Sage still has the boom stick out with two, with one. Let's get it on! As Rory Gilmore is the bomb carrier, Gun Sage. Hopping up onto the statue, jumping down, going up into that, going into that upstairs, keeping a close beat, close beat on that A bomb site, tossing the hell over there. Doesn't connect with anybody, but he's still got the snap, still looking right at that A side. As we see, party next door drawing the first blood, but Rory is over there. Was oh, Rory's down. Oh, hello, two v two. The bomb is down at A. Mojo picks up the bomb. Gun Sage is trying to do some house cleaning from his side. Gun Sage is uh, kind of looking around right now, making sure that nobody's trying to come through from that A side as Mojo up in that map area. Being sneaky, coming around. Looks like he's going to try for that B plant. As Wazi backs up into the stable. Doesn't see Vermont go right past him. Mojo making his way across. Oh, he saw Vermont that time. Mojo is all that's left. He's over on that B side. 13 seconds left in this round. And he gets taken down himself. Boston, oh my God, four to one. Yeah, doing it quick, doing it slow, hanging out, hanging low. And they're really just, Wazi is just a missile out there. The guy is just firing at everybody who comes into his sights even if it's not the first time the state of vermont like you said will show up again and be gunned every time by wazi like this guy has just been on another level in the search and destroy we didn't say his name too much in that first hard point but he's certainly showing up on the search and destroy so 
going to need to see that right continue. now. And he does have a cruise in his back pocket should he decide to use it. Skystone, the bomb carrier right now, as Wazzy covering that map, that map area. Oh, yeah. Boom, there we go. There's and, another one. Four, nine streak for Wazzy right now. 14 and one is party next door. Who's having a respectable five and five right now. Keeping that map room covered at the corner. Looks like, yes, Skystone planted the bomb at A. So Boston does have the bomb down. Oh, but party next door gets taken down. Boston, five to one. Yeah, I'm now looking at you people in the uh, Twitch chat that put all your channel points on Boston as somebody must have known what Wazi and Guns Age are capable of in this mode because, holy crap, this has been... Really just dominant since the minute this started from these two guys. Just absolutely putting them down. That was another double kill with the sniper on the cross from Gunsage. Not to be uh, taken back from this nine streak that Wazzy's on. Not even sure if we're going to see the Kaboom copy. Because in the end of the day, his tack right now is the kill streak. This guy is not missing yeah. shots. I mean, Wazzy, 14-1 and one right now. Tossing a Kaboom. Tossing a uh, hello there. Seeing if it connects. Rory Gilmore's the bottom carrier right now. Wazzy popping dead. He making his way up, going through the closed uh, doors there. Oh, he gets tapped a little bit. Then he gets a hello there. Oh. And he smartly makes his yeah. way back through the open door as Gun Sage, party next door, oh, drawing the first blood. Gun Sage giving all kinds of coverage onto that A bomb site. Rory oh. going to work his way around to B because right now he's just staying there trying to make sure something's going to go nothing's going to go south two on three right now as Gun Sage keeping a very close eye on map and through that open stairs he gets yeah. taken down himself 2v2 Wazzy on the site tossing a hello there doesn't connect no it doesn't but party uh -huh. next oh man Wazzy's streak is ended as Party Next Door takes him out, Skystone is the last one alive for the Boston Burgers. 15 seconds left in the, or I'm sorry, now there's 15 seconds left in this uh, final sixth round. All he has to do now is just sure do a good defense. Party Next Door is the bomb carrier. They got oh. six seconds left. Look at this. With three, with two, with Give one. It doesn't matter. No play. <laughs> Boston takes it six to one. Wow, and we really seen it all. I mean, that looked like the round party next door found the first blood. Boom, two kills coming from Skystone. He must know he gets bombed down because he just hangs out and rails after. And I thought he was going to try and snap up, pick up the two-piece there, but he was fine with letting them go in. Pops Here up. we go. Ella Celo control, my favorite control map, as we are watching from Wazzy's point of view right now. Wazzy, who, who in that party next door drawing the first blood. Wazzy actually, you know, he came to work on that S&D. As he goes ahead, he gets that one, gets a one taken out right there onto Vermont. As now Gun Sage is right there over by the bar, in the bar room, checking IDs at the door, making sure they do not say Sasky. Boom, there's one, and then he Gun Sage gets taken down himself. A three life advantage right now for the Boston Burgers. As we got about 47 seconds left in this round, Mojo working his way around right now. Are we going to see, oh, here we go. We've got some progress over at A for the Sasky Shotgunners. There's one with one ticket A as Gun, as Gun Sage working his way around. Two ticks at A. They have a nice three stack there. We're the gems. Gun Sage gets taken down. That A point is secured. We have another minute to play with, Q. Yeah, Sasky able to work into that A point fairly confidently. Once they get their guys in the positions, they get the kills. Party next door had a pretty good S&D, all things considering it was a 6 and 1 against him um i think he really showed out so i'm looking at him again in this control and he's off to a three and one start as sassy got some good pressure towards this b map let's see how these quick kills go around here boston able to find one trade i get traded out by the other one skystone will go down for a different kill as sassy still kind of hanging around are we going to see them be able to clear off the kills for this point sassy or party gonna get taken down that's a big gnash in the side not sure if they will be able to recover Boston looking for these kills, but Mojo and Rory are going to combine for two. That's big. Two ticks are going to be in fairly short. You got to be here. You got to see it from him now. Skystone with a nice jump shot. Only going to get one, though. 
as now Vermont's gonna hunt down Wazi. This is gonna be tough to get reinforcements in with Two. Vermont here. He's not gonna find that one. Aspect is gonna push to the front of the hill. Will he get here in time? Gonna get picked up by Rory though, and Mojo will find it. Everyone, this looks over, Coffee. Yes, it does. Here we go. The hello there. Three ticks. Give it to Sasky. One nothing. Able to turn the momentum away, really, there, right? Like, just stop that search and destroy. Say, that wasn't us. We are a different team in respawn. And they get pushed up, and they just, you know, they didn't lose a lot of gunfights when it came down to it. Don't you want to bet that uh, Boston ends up being a 2-4-5 uh, team? Okay. Like something that we've seen in the CDL in the past. Now, here we go with Boston on the offense. Let's see how they answer to Sasky on the defense. Let's go as Rory, right? Okay, now we're watching from Aspect's point of view. Aspect. Nice little hurdle up there onto the top of the wall. Keeping a, keeping a close eye down that alley. Doesn't see Rory in the soccer field. Wazzy drawing the first blood. There was a hello there tossed. It connects. Aspect being sneaky. Trying to be anyway. Aspect. Tossing a nade, does it connect? Yes, it does. It connects. Takes down party next door. Aspect, keep it a close eye around that, around the uh, building there for that B bomb site. Vermont up top, doing a little house cleaning from up top. There we go. There's one that oh gets a two piece, but gets traded off by Aspect. Aspect now on the hill <laughs> tries to melee, but gets knocked out. Gets taken down. Gun safe, working his way through the building. Going up towards that, towards the bar area. Guystone is on the point right now for Boston. Oh, we got, up uh, now, uh, Wowzie's taking down Skystone. One tick at A right now for the Boston Burgers as Gun Sage is providing ample cover. Small stack over there, two ticks at A. So, oh man, there's a now there's a stack over at uh, A. Word to Jim's that A point is secured. We have another minute to play with you. Yeah, I mean, Rory opening things up with the... I mean, I don't know if you golf much coffee, but there's a bit of a happy Gilmore in that sport. But Rory making his own move there. The Rory Gilmore diving past Asperger's. I think that was I think that was Aspect over on that B point to make that trade happen. And then Boston took that life and just ended up going to the A point and making sure to finish that out after with those A spawns. So... Vermont trying to play spoiler in this White House, though. We've seen him come in at the end and clean up the boxes before, but Aspect wiser this time, finding that kill. Now all the kills are in front of them. If Boston are able to get them, there goes two down, three down now. He's going to be up to party, but they are going to finish it as he is unable to pick up all the kills as these have been quick offenses back and forth, Coffee. These teams are coming out throwing punches. They're just putting each other left and right. They are nice even on progression right now. There's six ticks apiece. And, you know, we'll see if we go to a round five, how well these ticks will hold off. Because uh, whoever has the most, they get the defense. And we all know that control is a very defense-heavy game. Sasky getting ready to answer to Boston here as party next door. Making his way through the domination C point. Busted, in the, busted through, going upstairs, going to try to clean out the bar area. Party next you door. Oh, oh. They've already got... Oh, that's uh, Skystone already on A. All right. He's already doing defense. And Wazi draws the first blood from the radio tower. Vermont working his way around right now. Into the bar area. As Gun Sage. Close to the hill. Oh, he's not. My mistake. He's put on the other side of town. Does he see Rory? Yeah, he does. Takes Rory down. And now we're seeing some, seeing things start to slow down a little bit. I mean, there's, oh, Gun Sage on a five spree right now. Ten and six. So, as he, uh, oh, did we get him? No, he Rory doesn't. Movement, though. But he's, yeah, he's going to readjust, reposition, reprone, find the corner. Set up tent pegs. Gun Sage working his way through the backyard right now. We already have party next door. Starting off on that. Inside Gun Sage. Does he get traded? Party next door on the A, A hill right now. One tick with a contest. Gets taken out. Vermont on the hill right now. 
tossing her trophy down. One ticket. A for Sasky. 13 seconds left in the round. Ticket to have at A. Just one Fuzzy. man holding that hill for the whole team. Fuzzy. Which is a good, oh, there's a contest. Taken down. Still a contest. There it is. There it is. Get out of here. And it's still contested. Come on. Aspect. Trying to clean things out. No, Aspect gets taken down. Two ticks at A right now. Still 13 seconds left in this first round. That, you know, we're going to go ahead and say that uh, Sasky went ahead, took that A point. We have another minute to play with. Yeah, I didn't think they would get that in the end, but they did manage to hold on. That was quite the long contested spree. Unable to get the kill streak was Gun Sage, and they weren't really able, able to get the same pressure after they got that one man at 13 seconds under the hill. So Boston needing to kind of recover their positioning now. They did find two big kills. Need to find Mojo, who's still kind of towards the back. They will find him now. All the kills being in front of them now. And even that, that's a huge kill by Gun Sage. Now they really have them in the blender. This is a deep white spawn. And even if you're not expecting it, it's just going to be rather apparent as they're all going to come out into this open field. Boston finding two big kills. 30 seconds going to be on the clock here soon as Gun Sage is back in the White House, which where you don't want him. He drove Rory crazy that last life. But Party able to find him. And Skystone now behind him. They don't pick him up. That's two. It's going to be the third if he can pick him up. But he gets traded out really quick by Rory. Rory's been only looking at that White House. Trying to hold it down. Wazi finds another two huge kills. 14 on the clock. And now we are counting down. Nobody really here close enough to touch. They're gonna have to sprint. Gonna have to get in here quick and be almost flawless. But these kills coming in from Boston and an unfortunate team made will mean Boston gonna secure our first defense of the match. 2-1 in favor of Boston. And Sasky was only held to one point this time around. So that brings Sasky up to nine ticks overall for the game for this match so let's see how boston does on this and it's match point so if boston uh smokes it guess what you know i'm ahead more channel points that I, yeah. that's all i can say right there as we're watching from wazi's point of view wazi 12 and 9 on a three spree right now as he's working his way on the back side does a little up oh, goes through the through the opening right now going into the bar gets hello there Makes his way upstairs. As Boston is on the offense. And man, already two of them at that A point. Wazi tossed it down a one ticket A. Tossed it down a trophy to help out. His teammates there at the A point is Rory Gilmore. Trying to come around, get a contest and do some house cleaning. Oh, he gets taken down himself. Big stack. A point is secured. We have another minute to play with, Q. Yeah, Boston able to show dominance again, quickly getting the A point, but will they be able to find the B to close this out and take a 2-1 to one series lead? We have yet to see. Gotta find Sask. Has he got to find a couple kills here, or else this can get out of hand quick. Rory going to be found from behind. He ain't even expecting him there. We got two Boston arrows, the closest to the B point. I don't even know if they'll expect to be that, that close compared to the enemy, but oh, going to turn on. Party, that is going to be a tough one because now they are going to have complete dominance over the site. And Boston is not slowing the slaying down. Rory trying to find a lane in. He is the route man. Let's see it, Rory. Rory's coming in. He hunting. He knows Big people pull the short one tick. He's going to fly around. Not able to oh. find that one aspect. Picks him up as this is going to be a rather quick control, I think. This is a big end. Rory. Boston absolutely shooting out here. Wow. And Boston takes it. Three to one. Man, but you know this uh Wow, I mean Whoo That felt like lightning. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean Mojo's point of view right now as he is court getting all covered up for that uh P one. Wazi draws the first wow. blood right now as Gun Sage is doing some coverage from the top from the uh, office up there, keeping a real good cover on that P one. Nobody's on the hill right now. I mean, the score's only what two nothing in favor of the uh, shotgunners at Skystone. Watch it, watch it from above. Also, drops down. Boom. He does. He takes out. Uh, couldn't make out who it was, but Skystone himself gets taken out. Now Wazi over by the trucks, cleaning out, cleaning things out, getting ready for this uh, rotation to P two. Gun Sage. Making his way around, popping the daddy right, right now. Going upstairs. 
and just, oh yeah, right there on that landing. Perfect spot. Does he see one? No, but he goes out there on that P2. And speaking of P2, Skystone's got it. What well, we got, Q? Yeah, early kills coming through. I was a little surprised to see uh, Gunsage on an AR there for that first hill. But, you know, maybe the P1, that's what he does. I don't know. Makes sense enough. But back onto the sub, flying out, picking up a 3-2 and two start. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself, as they are collecting significant time on this P2 already as uh, Sasuke just having troubles finding their way back into this hill. But they've now gotten to this Xbox area. But Wazi is not missing. He's been back in this van area for a while, kind of on a three streak now. Fry, and there's one on Mojo on the four. Gunsage is going to clear the backside. He's on a five himself as... You know, Boston really picking up where they left off. They gotta find Sk Sage Skystone here, sorry. Rory gotta find almost another one too if they're gonna get this next hill, but Aspects in, Trophy is in. Mojo gonna try and get up this ladder. Will they find the break into this next hill? They've almost got to. You don't want to get down early on Embassy Coffee. The on a fire spree. A gun Sage on a fire spree. Aspect on the hill right now, just owning it for the Boston Burger. 61 to 211 in favor of the Burgers right now. And they are just, they're, right now, they are muting the Sasky Shotgunners as Rory Gilmore comes in. Rory. <laughs> oh, man, he tries to clean out, but gets taken down himself onto this P3 hill, 73 to 12 in favor of the Boston Burgers. Mojo on the, almost, oh, we already rotated. Okay, oh, we oh, haven't no rotated. Go. He just wasn't on the hill. Gun Sage working his way around right now, sees Rory Gilmore, takes Rory down. Gun Sage at the God Heady. There goes Party Next Door. Man, a three streak right now as Aspect on the hill for Boston. 78 13 in favor of the Burgers. I mean, Skystone at 8 and 4 right now. Working his way in, getting set up for this P4 rotation. As P4 kicks off, Skystone's on it. Here we go, Q. Yeah, really just unfortunate that last hill. Mojo was able to get quite a few kills on that top AC, but never really get able to get any time out of it as he was the only man up there. So going to need to see a bit better time management on the side of Sasuke going forward if they're able to get control of the hill because Boston has came out on all cylinders and is frying. Skystone, I think, has gotten better as the series is going on, making the plays his team needs. And, you know, Vermont maybe picking up at the right time. And here's Party Next Door frying from the front. They got one more guy to find in Skystone. He's going to be a tough kill, though. They will be able to get him. Wazi finds one on the outside on Rory. But this is some good time now finally coming to the Shotgunners. They're going to need to find a way to chain this into another hill as they are down a smooth 80 points at the start of this coffee. It is going to be an uphill battle for them going into this kitchen hill. Yeah, he tossed a hello there. Tossing another day as P5 gets ready to kick off here in a few seconds. Are they going to be able to chain it? As I'm looking down at the mini map, I see Rory Gilmore right. Or I'm sorry, he was there at four, but boom, there we go. Skystone on the hill already as Mojo makes his way through the diner, through the cafeteria. Oh boy. And, and here we go. Skystone holding down the point. Boom, Mojo takes him down. Hey, oh. can I have a heap of help with a pain right there? As Mojo, in the corner, just cooking up all kinds of hate and discontent through the Sasky Shotgunners as Party Next Door comes to join him. They both get taken down. Mojo popping the deadie, heading back into the kitchen to claim, try to claim some more hill time. He gets taken down. Wazzy on a five spree right now, 120 to 52 in favor of the burgers. Wazzy coming in. Boom. Oh, there we is. go. Wazzy got a cruise in his back pocket right now. So we could see a kaboom as he takes Rory Rory Gilmore oh, down. That's seven for him in a row. 130-55 in favor of the Boston Burgers. And I'm Wazzy right now on a 16-3. Gun Sage at 15-7. They are just bringing it with them. They are holding Sasky, just holding them down. Gun Sage in that corner at P3. Trying to get anybody from, to, that coming from the top. Uh, back. Oh, man. Here we go. What we got at P1, boss? Oh, just just as it seemed like. Sasuke had an all right start to that kitchen hill, really. Mojo able to get in there eventually, clear some space, make it so they weren't getting 60 on the hill. But towards the back end and into the start of this P1, really, Boston just able to string even more kills together as, yeah, guys like Gunsage and Wazi is Wazi's almost on a 5 KD coffee. That is, <laughs> that is something yeah. to say the least. My man is out here shooting as he is. Carrying his team right now as it is 175 to 55 there. Getting some time on P1. Sasky going to have to pull something here now. 
in order to get back into this as Guns Age is accruing more time and Wazi is just stacking on stacking the damage just shooting that AR down sights as Rory trying to fight back here really frying his way back into this hill giving them a shot on this p3 to maybe start to flip the script as there's a huge two piece from party nice next door two nice two piece for party next door on a three spree right now i mean part party next door has been held down by by everybody on boston rory on the hill right now aspect tossing a couple of others trying to clear things out he gets taken down himself gun sage being sneaky so, hello goodbye right. trade out he gets taken down by the party next door Man, Wazzy working his way around. Is he going to be able to clear the hill out? There's one. Does he get a right? No. He get, no, there was a trade. It was a trade. As Gun Sage works his way there. Sees uh, Mojo. No, no, Mojo. Gun, Gun Sage working his way around Vermont. Up on top right now. He's getting pre-rotated wow. for them to go to P3. Wazzy's going to join him and take him out. Rory Gilmore is on the point right now as P3 kicks off 180 to 83 in favor of the burgers. Yeah, Wazzy not slowing down. This guy is frying out here, finding all the lanes he needs and just picking up pieces on his way through. Rory unable to find that kill on the front side as Aspect is now in again. Party able to trade that one out at least, but here comes Gun Sage. There's always another member of Boston coming. You have to know that at this point, if you are Sasky. As up the ladder Mojo comes, he will get fried by Wazi. He's picking up the ladder push like a smart player. As they're going to hit 200 points here, Coffee, and go quite a bit over if they're able to get the remainder of this time. Uh, my uh, channel points right now are in doubt if you have to ask anyone. If you ask me, mine aren't 208.91 in favor of the Boston Burgers. A uh, gun sage. All right, we look at Skystone right there in the reception area. Nope, you can't go come in as Skystone is actually given oh he gets hello there from the other end of the hall mojo takes him down as gun sage is on the hill nope not anymore wazi coming in he's going to clear them shotgunners off the hill right now no mojo takes him down skystone working his way around right now is he going to be able to do anything he's going to be on the hill 220 97 in favor of the boston burgers so we got about 25 seconds left on this hill for boston and it'll be curtains. Let's, uh, as Vermont gets hello there, tossing a nade, tossing a stun. Do they connect? No, they do not. Vermont working his way around, trying to keep that, that P4 the rest of the way cleared off before getting taken down in the hallway. Wazi working his way through the side door. Doesn't see anybody up. He saw his party next door. But he gets taken down at the reception desk. Aspect is shooting down the hallway before he gets taken out. 238.99 in favor of the burgers. And it's time to go to the cafeteria, Q. Yeah, we go to the kitchen hill where this will maybe be the final resting place of Sasky in this series anyway. As Gun Sage and the Guns of Boston have not slowed down for a minute. And they will absolutely show a dominant performance between this and the other two maps that came before it and wow like really just couldn't see the the slang just didn't didn't go away wazi gun sage skystone and even aspect all had their moments where they were picking up two three pieces and it was just a you know an aspect.